Okay, we're here in downtown Atlanta to install Flex Drain, a four inch expandable drain pipe system. This is the, this is the pipe right here. Expands, contracts, fits to any shape. Comes in multiple sizes, also comes in perforated and perforated with sock. We're gonna use our flexible TY, expands and contracts, and this is gonna allow us to tie multiple pieces of Flex Drain together to make the system work. We're gonna tie multiple lines all into one main line. We have our coupler. Our coupler attaches to the male end of all of the fittings, also to cut ends of the pieces of pipe, so that when we make our connections, we're going to use this to make that seam. Then we have our downspout adapter, expands and contracts as well, and this is going to go onto the gutter and then it'll connect the pipe into the uh, system underground and let all the water run away. Okay, so the problem we have here today is, you, as you can see, we've got a downspout adapter and we've got a lot of erosion in the ground here. What we're going to do is go ahead and cut this lip off, attach one of our downspout adapters to it, and then we're going to bury a solid line all the way down the hill so the water stays inside the pipe and stops the erosion. The other part of the problem is we've got a, uh, a downspout here, and as you can see, it's kind of all the erosion here. So we're going to bring that pipe from up top that we talked about, bring it down here and connect it. We also have over here a French drain that doesn't work anymore. It's clogged. So we're going to go ahead and put our downspout adapter on here, tie our flex drain line in, remove the old French drain, and put a brand new line in all the way out to the curb like it's supposed to be done. Okay, the last application we're going to do is a perfect, uh, perfect for flex drain. We're going to tie into this gutter right here, and you can see we have a real tight curvy area. So we're going to tie, our, our tie into this and bury a pipe, go right up around this post, and bring it out on the driveway with a grate so we get a nice clean drainage area, get rid of this erosion here. To prepare for your flex drain project, the first thing you want to do is measure the job site out, make sure you get enough pipe and enough fittings to do the project. Also measure your downspouts, make sure you've got the right size opening for your downspout adapter that connects to your gutter. There are several sizes, make sure you, you choose the right one. You want to also make sure that all your utilities are marked out before you dig and if there are permits uh, required to dig in that area, that you get the right permit and all the utilities are marked out. You also want to make sure that you've got the right slope, so to make sure that the water can be, uh, can be sloped away from the house and be brought off in the right area. Uh, the last thing you want to do is make sure that you've got all your supplies, gravel, things like that uh, in advance so that when you're doing the job you've got everything there for it. For this project, we went ahead and rented a trench digger. I recommend it for anybody that's going to install the flex drain system. It makes quick work of digging and doesn't cost a lot of money. Okay, so you want your trenches to be about eight inches deep. You can see here, uh, eight, eight, about eight, eight inches deep. When you're done digging your trencher, you will have to go back with a shovel and clean out some of the loose dirt to make sure that you don't have any high spots. Okay, now comes the easiest part of the job. We've already connected our 3x4 downspout adapter. Now we're going to take our flex drain solid pipe, expand it out, and put it in the ditch. Okay, now we're going to install our flexible TY. Keep in mind when you're installing the flexible TY, you, you will need typically one or two couplers depending on the installation. For this one, we've got two male ends coming together, so we simply snap on the coupler here, take the male end of the pipe, snap that side on, get it into place. Okay, now it's in place. The next thing we're going to do is attach a downspout adapter to a short piece of pipe. First thing, take your downspout adapter. Get, get that up and snug. Now you're going to have to cut a piece of pipe because you've got just a short run. The nice thing is you don't really need to measure because it's flex drain. So take a piece that's about the right size. Attach your other coupler. The tricky thing here, always attach it to the cut piece first. By taking your finger through the, through the back of it, pulling the pipe until you hear that click. Then you can take snap on to your flexible T. Snap the other end on to your downspout adapter, expand it to fit. Okay, to finish off this part of the installation, you just take your female end of the, your next piece of pipe, snap it on, and run it out to your ditch. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to change from our solid pipe and use a perforated pipe. In this application, we've decided to use a perforated pipe with a sock because there is a lot of fine soil. And what we've done now is we've connected the solid pipe to the downspout adapters, and that's going to solve the problem of the water runoff. 
They still have an area right here that with low-lying water tends to puddle up. So we're essentially going to create a French drain and tie the whole system together. So we're going to take this and we're going to expand it out. Okay. Go ahead. Get this in the ditch like so. Cut the cut hair sock here because what we're going to do is now we're going to take another one of those flexible TYs and we're going to connect in our two downspout lines that we've already got pre-connected. First thing you want to do is connect your couplers to your cut pipe. Pull the pipe through with your fingers till you hear it click and it feels really good and secure. And you're going to need three of them in this application because you've got three pieces of cut pipe. Now you connect your T. Okay. Connect the whole thing and make sure your pipe is down nice and deep. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to bury this whole pipe underground. So the easiest way to block the end is just to simply take your extra sock, tie it off in a knot, and bury it down underground. Okay, just like on the other side of the house, we have the same problem with the downspout adapter. What we've done, we've already dug our trench, put our pipe in place, connected our downspout ad adapter to our flex drain pipe, ran the pipe through and around the pole, simply connected it to a grate drain right off to the end of the driveway, stop the erosion, simple and easy. Okay, and the last thing we have to do before backfilling our pipe is just install a simple end cap to make sure that you've got a, a decent looking end. You, there's lots of different ones available uh, from several different manufacturers, things like this one with a pop-up, which, which we could use here. But however, there's no curb here, so we're going to go ahead and just use a simple 4-inch PVC with an end cap. And to install this, you get, again, you need to take a coupler, install it over the male end of our pipe, and then simply snap it in the back. back. It'll give you a nice clean finish, and then you just backfill the pipe. Okay, so our flex drain installation is complete. We've, we've installed our solid drain pipe into our downspout, removed the old uh, French drain, installed the brand new French drain. We backfilled everything and put some starter soil down. The only thing left is to put a little bit of grass seed down, and just in a couple weeks, it'll look just like a golf course all over again.